Welcome to Surrey Hills. In this video, we're gonna help you stop getting lost around Surrey Hills. Not a bad little run, that. Woo! Oh, lovely. Pretty rubbish trail, to be fair. Surrey Hills is undoubtedly one of the best riding spots in the south and it's, there's no trail map there it's like unmarked trails the whole way so what we're going to do is use the trail forks app and then ride a handful of trails and then ride rate review them at the end from best to worst so you can almost come and use this as a bit of a, a trail guide you can get the app yourself and you can come and ride these trails and of course we're going to do what we usually do which is if there's any decent features worth looking at we're going to pull over and have a little look at the, the lines and uh, see what it's like enjoy right this first one swoopy mcswoop face is a short steep little number we're looking at about 50 meters of descent Pretty unridden actually. Whoa. So Swoopy McSwoop face is right next to the entrance of Thick and Creamy. This run is steeper than Thick and Creamy, shorter, and in all honesty, in all honesty, the climb that's the climb that you have to do after probably doesn't warrant the trail. But check it out for yourselves if you like a little bit of uh, steep tech. So we just commuted across from Pitch Hill, heading to this trail called Northern Monkey. You see, this is where we are here, and it is literally idiot-proof. This app, just follow the arrow. We should be right at the top any minute. New. No. You can click on the name of it and it's going to tell us we've got a 63 metre descent little climb average time of 8 minutes so yeah it gives you everything you need to know and a couple of months ago it was ideal uh, rated 4 stars let's do it we're now on Northern Monkey flat trail it's pretty lively Not too steep actually. A bit rough around the edges. Ooh. So on Northern Monkey you're gonna to come towards the bottom section of it and there's some massive jumps. There's about oh, five or six big old boys. So we're gonna be coming down from here. Got a setup jump, a little setup double, and you can see what we're up against couple of big old senders. First one's quite a mellow takeoff, but with a big case patch on it. Um, looks like you can be hitting on these with a bit of speed. And then the second one, looks like you're gonna be kicked up a bit higher. Gap's a bit, a bit shorter, but definitely higher. And then it's going to take us into this hip jump. So those are the first sends of this line. It then goes around the corner and carries on. I've hit these first three before. I remember you need to drop in from here to carry good speed. As long as you get over the first setup jump, you have the speed for the next. Cruise over the first and the second, pull up on the third. Hit the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Bit of a case there. These jumps are 
really confidence inspiring just because they're so well made one the speed from one carries you perfectly into the next but if you case one or have a little bobble don't commit to the next one because i don't think you'll get over it round two See the type of conditions you got down here nice and sandy it's like this black sand it's going to take the weather real well overall thoughts for northern monkey good little trail pretty short uh, if you're not into big jumps or wanting to push yourself onto big jumps probably wouldn't bother with it trail number three Charlie Bryce is dropping in. Pretty mellow. Yeah, it's quite a mellow trail so far. Got some good flow to it though. Oh, nice. Getting a little bit steeper now. It's quite well ridden in. Woo. Oh, lovely. Bike's working overtime to keep up with all the chop. Oh, yeah. Nice. I was enjoying that one so much I forgot to stop and get a bit of footage of the trail. Not a whole lot to report on it though, it's kind of ride what you see. Nothing there that's too sketchy, a few little sniper routes in there. But overall trail had awesome flow and uh, definitely one of my favourites so far. Nice for most abilities too. Bit of a rolling climb now up this hill onto the next one. So a good little thing about Charlie Bronson is that on your pedal back to the top, you pass the entrance to it again, so you can kind of lap that trail if you like, or session a few that are next to it. Right, so we're now on a trail called Area 51. It's a blue trail and it looks like it's got a couple of different entrances into it. Got a bit of a step up behind us and also another line that kind of nudges around the side of it. But if you want this step up, you're going to have to give it some beans. A pretty wet run in, puddle down in the bottom, puddle on the landing and the pit of doom. I've seen people case this and it's not too bad. You can case this and you'll be all right, but what you want to do, come off the flat ground at the top, pedal as hard as you can and huck hard. Right, area 51, we're cranking in. Cranking in hard. Oh yeah, just made that one. Whoa. You've really got, especially in these conditions, you've really got to go hard at that step up. Nice, this little section is pretty good. Nice and poppy, flowy. Whoa, some big holes. Got to sort of work this one, pump your way through it, keep your speed up. Nice. A bit steeper here. Oh, 
bit of compression. And there she is. Initial thoughts straight off the bottom of the trail. Not a bad little run that. Quite short but sweet. Had some good flow and also some fairly flat sections that you had to work the bike pretty hard on. But yeah, I'd say it's pretty good for all levels of rider and pretty fun. My bike of choice for this venue would be an e-bike or like a mid-range sort of trail bike, a 140 travel, 150-ish. We're a little bit overbiked on the rain today, but um, it's getting around all right and it's not holding us back. So. Uh, Uh, yes, yeah, this is a good little trail. This takes us all the way down to the car park. Breaks off into a blue run. So this one's a really long trail if you uh, double it up with Supernova. One of the longest ones around. Little double. Nice. So with the flatter trails here, they do tend to paddle up quicker and first. So that's worth bearing in mind. If you're riding in the depths of winter, you might want to avoid the old blues maybe, or the greens especially, because it does just get super puddly. So a little tip that might serve you well on these mellower trails is to come in hot, attack them coming in, get up to speed quick, and then you can just maintain your speed all the way through by pumping through the rollers. It takes a lot of energy out of you to try and get up to speed during the trail because it is quite flat. We're now merging onto the blue section of Supernova and it's a pretty mellow trail apart from this one little bit which has a little split and a few roots. Across the board, very rideable. Just got to kind of ride what you see. There's some real nice flow to be had down here. Yes, it's such a great flow on it. Love it, man. Little sender. section here and then into more berms down the bottom. Loads of grip down here, whatever the weather. No reason for break down here. And this takes us all the way down into the main Hughes Lake car park. And there we have it. So we're now gonna go and hit one more trail before we rate them best to worst. And, uh, but don't take my word for it. It's just personal opinion. You've got to come out here and try it for yourselves. You've got no excuses now. You know your way around Surrey Hills with this app. And this is just touch. This has skimmed the surface for what's out in these woods. So uh, if you've liked the video, then uh, let me know and I'll probably try and do a little part two. Right, we are dropping in to a blue trail called Roller Coaster. I only got a small descent in this one, 20 meters at the same, but we shall see. Whoa! Woo -hoo. A few little sniper routes in there. This is pure cross country, this is so far. Not a huge amount of flow to speak of. Oh, here we go, it doesn't end. Top section, super flat. Bottom section, we want more. Little to no reward for the climb so far. Let's get 
better now. Ooh. Not many features. Just got to ride what you see again. Ooh. Getting a bit fruity now. There we have it. Roller coaster. Not really delivering the goods. As for roller coaster, initial thoughts are pretty rubbish trail to be fair. The last 10, 15 seconds picked up and that was probably where all the descent was. Uh, the first bit was an absolute slog fest. So there we have it folks, top trails of the day from trail ports. It's been quite fun making this one so I will definitely be planning a part two. Watch this space, thanks for tuning in. Go and enjoy myself.